equation of figure shows an initially stationary block of mass 2 kg and a force of 10 newton is applied at an angle of 20. So what is the magnitude of the acceleration if in case 1 these are the coefficients, case 2 these are the coefficients, okay. Uh, if you draw an FBD then the components of the force will be uh, horizontal will be F cosine of theta, the vertical will be F sine of theta. Uh, in the vertically upward direction we will also have a normal reaction, uh, we will have a gravity down there and a friction over on the left. Well, let's try to find the maximum uh, static friction. So first off, the vertical equation of equate because we got to find a normal reaction to find the friction. N plus F sine theta will be equal to the weight. This means that the normal reaction will be weight which is mg minus F sine theta, F is 10 and theta is what? 20 degrees. Mass is 2, G is 9.8 minus 10 sine of 20 degrees. So this will come out as uh, 9.8 times 2 minus 10 sine of 20 which is coming as 16.18 Newton. Uh, now we can easily find the maximum value of the friction which is mu s times normal reaction if the static friction which will inhibit the which will try to inhibit the motion. So that's 0.6 times 16.18 so if we multiply this with 0 0.6, we are getting 9.71 Newton. And what is the uh, horizontal force F cosine of theta? That will be 10 sine, 10 cos of 20, right? 10 cos of 20. And what is cos of 20 multiplied by 10? That's 9.40. 9.40. So clearly the uh, the maximum friction, static friction is more than the horizontal force. So friction will definitely adjust itself uh, to make it equal to the horizontal force and eventually the net force will become zero. Uh, uh, net force will become zero since so the maximum friction is greater than the horizontal force and eventually the acceleration is also zero. But in the other case, uh, when the coefficient of uh, uh, friction has been reduced, in this case, what will be the maximum friction which can act on it? So uh, let's find that. The maximum in this case would be we just replace this 0 0.6 with 0 0.4 in this case, right? So if we replace it with 0.4, that will be 0.4 times 16.18, which will come out as 6.47. 6.47 and clearly 6.47 Newton is less than the horizontal force, right? So block will start moving and as soon as the block will start moving, uh, uh, the kinetic friction will start acting on it and the kinetic friction coefficient is 0 0.3. So 0 0.3 times 16.18 will start acting on it, which is 4.854, 4.854 Newton. Uh, so, uh, what will be the eventual acceleration? So, the acceleration will be F net over mass. F net will be over on the right, we have 9.4, which is over here. The friction is 4.854 and the mass is 2 kg. So, all we have to do is grab our calculator and get this value, which we are getting as 2.27 uh, meter per second square up to two decimal places. is the final answer. Thank you.